Hi everybody. We wanted to jump in and show you how to do this with children. So if you didn't see the previous video, the number one strategy for colds and flus, go and check that out. We are going to break down how to do neti pot for your kids. This is something that comes up a lot for parents as far as there's no way that I'd be able to get that into my child or be able to work with them. We've been doing this with our kids since I think they've been about three. So they will pick it up and if you're doing it, they often get curious to see how it works and then they want to try it and you just start to slowly build up and, um, and show them how to do it. And then next thing you know, they're going to be a veteran like Sophie here who can do it on her own and will come and actually get the neti pot when she gets the first signs of a cold or flu. And it's a great way to, it's a good idea to actually demonstrate this for kids. That's how they learn best. So if you're watching this video, you do it yourself in front of your child and you even show this, share this video with your child, they'll have a better idea of what it's like, what the sensation is like and um, how to exactly go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. The previous video goes through all of the details as far as why it works and how to do it and the different options, everything. This is, I just want to show you that it can be done quite easily with kids. So for Sophie here, we've got the water filled up to the line with lukewarm water and I've checked the temperature and I think that's pretty good. Now we would add the same saline. Now sometimes what we can do is for kids, depending on how, how much saline they need. So Sophie sometimes finds as a whole pack might be a little bit too um, burny for her. I find for most adults, a full pack is totally fine. I will sometimes even do two packs myself if I feel like there's lots of stuff going on there to kind of clean out. Sometimes for Sophie, we might do half a pack. Or if we're using this guy, that might be a quarter scoop that's for an adult. And we might take down and maybe start like there. And let's see how that goes, Sophie. Throw that in and put that guy back. Okay, and now we're going to just mix it up a little bit. Yeah, just as long as it doesn't come out the top there. And then we look to make sure that all of the saline crystals have all dissolved. And then once it's dissolved, it's ready to go. Now, if say, she's ready to go right now because she's done it so much. I'm going to show you if you're a parent and you're first starting to do this with your kids, they're going to go from here. So go ahead and lean forward. So lean and tilt the chin. Tilt the chin up and slightly over like this. And they're going to look a little bit towards your side. You're going to put this right into their nose. You're going to ask them to take a deep breath in, breathe out, and then hold your breath out. If you need to breathe, breathe through the mouth, but keep the, no the mouth open. So just remind them, make sure you breathe through and the mouth, through the mouth. We go through here and you'll see it dripping. Now, if it happens to drip down their chin and down towards their chin and into their chest, just have them tilt forward a little bit more. With She's doing great there. And sometimes what we'll find is that they will get um, little bits of mucus all popping out and we usually call those snot slugs. So we kind of look for those. I think Sophie's got a couple little things there, nothing crazy. Okay, and just let it drain out. Okay, do you want to blow? So we'll pass her some tissue and then she can blow her nose. Um, a lot of times I find the kids like to give a little bit of a gentle blow in between. Go ahead, not too hard. Perfect. And then we'll do the other side. Okay. Okay, now lean forward. Okay, and Sophie's actually going to do this herself now and she'll show you. So go ahead, hon. You can do this side. Whichever side you want to do. You can do this side. You haven't done that side yet. And then lean forward. So she'll put it in. And they watch themselves in the mirror. So they start to see when the water gets up to the area and then they'll start to feel it coming out the other side of the nose. Great. So you'll see it all start to drip. And now when kids are starting, even if you get like a third of the neti pot in, that's still doing pretty good. Yeah. So you don't have to get the entire thing. So don't worry about it. As long as they're getting some up and you're seeing it come out the other side, they're going throughout that whole sinus passage. And you'll see little chunks of mucus sometimes come out. And then after, once they're done, great job, hun. Leave it down, let it drain for a bit. She can give a light blow. I find a lot of times for kids, they wanna, <laughs> they wanna blow it right away. So which is fine, just don't blow too hard. Make sure you're covering one nostril and then gently blowing out the side. Switch, 
cover the other nostril, gently blow up the side. Don't do both at the same time. That can actually create pressure and damage the ear canal. And kids oftentimes actually do when they're not familiar with how to blow their nose. They do just when you give them a tissue, they blow out through both nostrils. So make sure you're demonstrating for them and then do it for them. So you're holding the nostril over their one nostril and asking them to blow out the other. So they will need that specific instruction, especially when they're first starting off. Awesome. And that's how you do it. And then you do it, do it with them, get them used to it. Even if it's just a little bit at a time, let them start to get used to it. And then we supercharge our neti pot the same with the same sort of things that um, we talk about in the course where you can add up and these different pieces to it where you can add up stronger antimicrobial properties and even more alkalinizing properties if needed. So, but this is a great start. So get that on. As soon as you get the first signs of cold flus, Get them used to that. Try and do it twice a day when they first get it started. And give us feedback. Let us know how it's going with your children and yourself. If you're <laughs> totally grossed out by doing this initially, then after a few times, short few times, you'll be looking for those snot slugs just like we do. <laughs> and it's a small victory because if it's not in your system, then it's, uh, it's a good thing. It means you're faster towards recovery. Yeah, whole idea is lowering the load so your body can get on top of it. All right, everybody, thanks so much, and I hope you enjoy this.